All right, hi guys, I've got another update about the upcoming winter season. This video is gonna cover pretty much the rest of November into the 1st of December. And again, if you haven't joined my pro site yet, I would uh, love for you to do that. You can join at www.patreon.com slash Ohio Valley Weather, and you'll see a lot of extra discussions and details there about the weather of the Ohio Valley. Once again, those of you that have been watching my other videos know that this is the pattern that I'm expecting us to see. And again, it seems that we are already starting to see this pattern. Remember, this winter pattern should feature high pressure over the Pacific Ocean due to a La Nina, along with a, um, a ridge over the Western United States, which is enhanced by a positive PNA and then also ridging over the North Atlantic Ocean due to high pressure there, which is due to a negative NAO. And all of this I am expecting to bring colder than normal temperatures to the Ohio Valley, along with frequent Alberta clippers, which could also translate into frequent nor'easters, all of which is going to mean more snow for the Ohio Valley and the Eastern United States. This map is for tomorrow, November 22nd, and I just want you to notice the features that we see there. We've got high pressure over the Pacific Ocean due to La Nina. We've got an extended high pressure in the Western United States due to a positive PNA. And we have high pressure over the North Atlantic Ocean. So all the ingredients really are in place to start bringing us winter-like weather to the Ohio Valley. Moving forward, uh, this is the current ENSO as of today. And again, we can see that the uh, temperature of the Pacific water has pretty much leveled off. Uh, we're right around 0.8 degrees below normal, which keeps us in the range of what would be considered to be a weak La Nina. Uh, nonetheless, we do have that high pressure over the Pacific Ocean. And so that part of the pattern is definitely in place. This is showing the PNA, and if you look over here on the right-hand side, the red area is what is being forecasted. And over the last few days, we've trended slightly negative, but pretty close to neutral. And you can see here in the days ahead, uh, just a few days from now, we are expecting to see the PNA to keep take a sharp drop, dr jump towards being positive. And remember, anytime that happens, that means we have a warm-up in the Western United States. And so then if there is cold air available, that cold air will be forced to go into the Eastern United States, which would include the Ohio Valley. This is the NAO. And again, here we see that the NAO has been positive, but we're starting to trend towards negative. And probably tomorrow or the next day, the NAO is going to be, go negative. And that is setting up that high pressure over the North Atlantic Ocean, which is going to set up a blocking pattern, which will cause storms to run up the Eastern United States. Again, anytime we see the NAO dropping negative like this, this is a perfect setup for nor'easters, which in the winter time certainly can mean a lot of snow. And so I wanna move on now to some maps and this map is showing the 300 millibar winds or in other words, the jet stream. And you can see this is for tomorrow, Monday the 22nd. And you can see we're expecting the pattern that I was showing. We've got a nice ridge over the Western United States and we're starting to see this trough over the East which is going to bring colder than normal temperatures into the Ohio Valley. Uh, so let's look at this and see what it looks like as we move forward. Uh, so here is uh, that map. And again, this is the 300 millibar winds. If we push this forward, yeah, let's back up first. If we push this forward, here's Monday. And there's that trough that I was expecting. Now, another thing I want you to notice with this map is you see this uh, wind down here. 
this is part of the subtropical jet stream. And so this is pulling moist air and notice how it converges with the polar jet stream right here. So here we've got cold air being pulled down from the north and then we have moist air being pulled up from the south. This is a great setup for snow to be happening up in here somewhere. You're gonna have the cold air meeting with the warm moist air. And so this is a, a good indication that somebody's gonna be getting snow over the next few days. Pushing this forward, you can see by Tuesday, that trough is even deeper, which would mean for the Ohio Valley that by Tuesday, we should be seeing some fairly cold temperatures, I would expect. Pushing this forward, the trough starts to move off to our east, and we may have a warm up here for a, a little bit. Notice this is Wednesday, uh, so short warm up because you can see another trough is approaching. Here we are on Thursday, so probably still slightly warm on Thursday, warmer than normal, but now you can see the trough moving in. This is late Thursday, so that warm up is not going to be very long. And so by wait, late Thursday, we have that trough over the Ohio Valley again, which again is gonna pull cold temperatures down. Notice right here, we've got a nice upper level low. And so that's a pretty good indication that there's gonna be a strong low here. Uh, again, this would mean probably some snow for somebody. Now this is for Friday. Also notice again, we've got that subtropical jet coming down here, pulling up the warm, moist air. So again, this is a good setup for some snow. I don't know if it'll reach into the Ohio Valley or not, but certainly up here, uh, up in Canada, uh, they're gonna be getting some snow as that warm air gets uh, converges up here with that cold air coming down from the south. Friday later, we still have that trough, so still, colder temperatures over the Ohio Valley. But notice what happens as we transition into Saturday. Uh, by Saturday, you would think that that trough is gonna move off to our east, but look what happens. We get another trough forming. And so it's not as strong of a trough, but this pattern would keep us in colder than normal temperatures uh, into Saturday. And even Sunday, this is keeping us on the cold side of things. And then uh, by late Sunday, we can see that trough starts to deepen again. That's gonna pull colder temperatures back down into the Ohio Valley. This is now um, a week from Monday, November 29th. Look how deep that trough is. Uh, certainly we would be expecting to see colder than normal air. Uh, by, by Tuesday the 30th, that trough is still in place. And look what we have coming uh, by the end of uh, November and into December 1st, we have another trough forming. So it looks like all the way into uh, at least the 1st of December, we can expect to see colder than normal temperatures for the Ohio Valley. In fact, let's take a look at those temperatures. This is a temperature anomaly map based on the European model. And uh, let's just start pushing this forward. You can see as of today, we're pretty average. Um, over here in Pennsylvania, there's slightly below normal. Ohio's slightly above, but pretty close to normal today. Um, same thing for Monday, uh, slightly warmer than normal, but, but pretty normal. By late Monday though, we see here comes that colder than normal air. We get temperatures, say, between 5 and 10 degrees uh, below normal by Monday for the Ohio Valley. And those temperatures stay in place by Tuesday. In fact, getting even colder here now, we're more uh, right around 15 degrees normal by to below normal by Tuesday. And that stays in place uh, pretty much through Tuesday, uh, even into Wednesday, still colder than normal. As we move into Thursday of this week, uh, things start to normalize, temperatures come back to fairly normal, and may even go slightly above normal Thursday. But then by Friday, there's that trough that came below the Eastern United States, and so we see colder than normal temperatures again. And those remain in place uh, all the way through Saturday the 27th, even into Sunday the 28th, you can see we're still colder than normal there. 
pushing forward. You can see even now into Monday, the 29th, still colder than normal, five to 10 degrees colder than normal, all the way out to the 29th. Uh, we push even uh, to the 30th, and by the 30th, things start to come back pretty close to normal, but look up here what's coming. We've got more cold air coming again, and if we push that forward um, towards uh, December the 1st, you can see things are starting to cool down again, and that's as far out as the European model goes, but it definitely looks like between now and December 1st, the Ohio Valley can expect to see colder than normal temperatures. Now, what's that gonna mean as far as snow? Well, um, again, remember those times where we had the subtropical jet coming up and meeting with, um, with the polar jet stream, you're gonna be able to see that happen. You may remember uh, one of the first times we saw that happen was this Friday. And so if we push this out to there's Thursday and here comes Friday the 26th and there's that warm moist air being pulled up. But you can see right here, this is the 540 line. And so we could expect to see some of that rain mixing with snow by Friday. And even the models picking up on that there, you can see the greens changing over to blues indicating snow. And then if we keep moving forward, um, you can see some lake effect snow coming into the Ohio Valley by uh, late next Friday and even into Saturday morning. Although by Saturday morning, it looks like they're pushing that lake effect snow more into Pennsylvania and New York. So that is uh, definitely a possibility. And again, it looks like we're gonna have that same scenario uh, for the next couple of weeks. And so uh, again, if you haven't joined my pro site, I invite you to do that again, uh, the pro site, can be found at www.patreon.com slash Ohio Valley Weather. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll make another one next week. Thanks for watching.